I don't like seeing rubbish all over our beaches. I don't like finding plastic bags when I'm diving. I don't like getting hit on the face with a nappy when I'm surfing, which happened by the way. One thing that is quite evident is that the stuff that is in here directly corresponds with what we do find out on islands like Rangitoto Island for instance. Everything is affected all the way from the top of the catchment through the freshwater systems and end up in the ocean. So Plastic pollution um, unfortunately affects everywhere so it's a completely ubiquitous problem. There's so much on the news that to tell people to do the right thing and yet people are just so careless. Sustainable Coastlines is a charity. We run a whole range of educational programs and events aimed at protecting the coastlines that Kiwis love. So we run beach cleanup events, educational programs in schools, waterway planting activities and uh, public awareness campaigns through the media and through outdoor advertising. Workshops are really important for us because one of the most challenging factors that we find is actually motivating people, so making this fun. With education, by empowering people, by inspiring them, by informing them, it's a really effective way of creating behavioural change, particularly when it comes to issues like plastic pollution and marine debris, single-use plastic. So if we can instal good habits in the children, of today, then we'll have good habits and the older people of tomorrow. I mean, the kids of the future, they're our secret weapons. We have the opportunity to make choices in what we buy and what we consume and how we dispose of it. I put that out to everyone as individuals to, uh, to think about how they live their lives and what we can reduce in terms of plastic in our lives. Doom, 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 doom,